It's the only logical conclusion that you can uh, have when it comes to that. Anyway, this video, it's 30 minutes long. He made a 30 minute long video about someone else's marriage. Now, 30 minute video when you're getting divorced? I understand. Heck, make it two hours long, you know? Uh, <laughs> marriages aren't pretty. But let's let's take let's take a look at this, shall we? Have you ever been put into a situation where you weren't quite sure whether or not you should reveal a piece of information, fearing the consequences, but then it just kept getting worse to the point you couldn't keep your mouth shut any longer? He had to, guys. He had to. You don't understand. They forced his hand <laughs> when he had to do this because it was the right thing to do. And it doesn't matter if they don't like him at the end of this. It's something that had to be done. Yeah, that's basically the current situation. And I'm not going to waste your time beating around the bush. This script's been rewritten too many times for me to ease you in slowly. So here we go. He's been working on this script for a month. And by the way, by the way, let's let's rewatch that. Like that around the bush. Little... This script's been re Look how many paragraphs. This is all this is all about why he doesn't like someone someone else's marriage. That he has no involvement in, by the way. You've written too many times for me to ease you in slowly, so here we go. Ellis Mark is a 20-year-old Irish cartoon reviewer who, since late 2020, according to him, has been friends with a 28-year-old American former Oni play. <sighs> Not 28. Oh my god. An eight-year age gap with it with two consenting adults? What madness is this? His collaborator, Veronica Gilardo, whom he currently runs a podcast with when she isn't working on Twitch or an NSFW Patreon. But Not an NSFW Patreon? Anything but that? Heavens no. That's all information you may have already been made aware of, had you followed one or the other on social media. What you probably don't know is that, again, according to Mark, the two have been dating for around a year, and since autumn of 2022, the duo have been married. Which could lead you to ask me, Braxton, why should I care? What's the point in bringing that up? And well, to put it- That's a very good question. Why should we care? You know, they're in a lovely marriage, which I'm sure will last, like- one or two years, and then they'll get a nasty divorce. But at the end of the day, why should I care? Bluntly, I tried handling what I'm about to discuss with Mark privately, but discovered there have been several others who've done the same, yet he seemingly has just brushed them off. It's not- So, aka, I tried telling him that his marriage was bad, and, and because I am the almighty authority on marriages, uh, the 18-year-old who- has never had a long-term relationship, by the way, who is asexual, uh, decided to publicly air out any supposed grievances that the two might have had. By the way, these gr these this stuff that he decides to air out, for all we know, they could have settled this privately and decided to just never discuss this. Not him who's done anything worthy of call-out, though. It's Veronica and the group she's created around him who are at fault. And what might those actions include, you may ask? Well, how about a relationship that's been kept secret from the public involving lies, dumping- <gasps> Not a- not a relationship that's been kept secret from the public. I mean, why would you want to keep a relationship public? After all, it's not like anyone's gonna talk weirdly about your marriage. Am I right, guys? <laughs> uh, what's the worst that could happen? and getting back together in short bursts, cheating, alienation from friends, shit-talking, the loss of opportunities to be friends with others, manipulation, forced dependency, and more. But that's a lot- Sounds like a standard relationship to me, I don't know about you guys. A lot of bombshells to explain all at once. So to keep it all organized in this video, I'm gonna set up a basic timeline of events based on the testimony and evidence of several people I've interviewed or researched into, which, if stated as much, were later confirmed by Mark himself. And it all goes back to Christmas Day of 2021, when Daft Pina and Crowey, two friends of Mark, were- Daft Pina, uh, a good source of information as you guys will soon find out. I wanted to talk to him about Veronica. Or rather, more specifically, they brought him into a Discord call on the night of, where they warned about the duo of Veronica and another former Oni Plays collaborator, Sunny TM, due to a series of behaviors they perceived as toxic. But we'll go for a- Not toxic behavior. Oh no. 
Ain't that, that's just so some terminally online stuff. Like, yo, bro, you gotta get into the Discord call real quick. I gotta warn you about these two guys, you know. They're toxic, man. Like, you don't mention anything specific, just that they're toxic. Alright. Further on that when the time comes. All you need to know for now is that, in this particular instance, Mark would brush off the two's concerns, believing it to be unfounded. So Crowe and- I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you're not saying anything that they've done, but if this was, what, of last year, what, what did they do? What, what, what was, what did they do that was toxic? You, you, you're not explaining that. And if they didn't explain that, if they didn't explain it well either, I wouldn't blame Mark for kind of brushing off the concerns. Daft dropped the subject and chose to avoid the duel regardless, whether or not they could convince Mark to do the same. But what Daft and Croy weren't aware of at the time was that Mark and Veronica had already begun dating, and during the period surrounding the check-in, Mark had already been dumped after three or so months together. You see, Veronica had switched over right after leaving him to dating another creator who wants to remain anonymous, which has been confirmed by both the creator and Mark themselves. But what really makes this stand out in the timeline isn't just that it happened, it's that the switch only lasted a month before Veronica dumped the other creator and asked Mark to take her back it is so weird to create a timeline of someone else's relationship this is like some like okay, okay. i know like the, the commentary community as like an insult gets com gets um compared to like tabloid like tmz articles and stuff but look at look at how he's doing this it's like, well, as you can see, the timeline suggests that they were separated at this point, and then pro approximately a month later, they got back together. It's like, Jesus Christ, dude. I know you don't want your own relationship, but maybe you don't focus in on someone else's so much. Which he happily did, as he was supposedly, according to friends around him at the time, in a drunken stupor, randomly just breaking down crying during the breakup. Though that's not to say they were completely- Sounds like normal guy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, sounds like what your typical guy does. ...completely separated during the period, as Mark actually used the recording booth of the other creator. Yeah, by the way, if you wanted this, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not going to search for this tweet. But here's an idea, just stop. If you wanted the other creator to remain anonymous, maybe don't show the time and date of a tweet that clearly has the other creator's at in it. You, 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 you know, just some, like, some, some common sense moves right there, man. Come on. ...during their time split up. Yes, really, no exaggeration. Originally, I wasn't too sure if this was the case, as Mark claimed it lasted from two to three weeks between December and January. But thanks to Smokey, who I'll bring up again later on, I was able to find the exact times Veronica left and came back to Mark, which also shows when she was dating the other creator. For evidence on when it started, in a DM with the other creator right after the dumping happened, Smokey mentions her knowledge of the situation on November 27th, and in a DM to another friend on January 4th, she tells a mutual that V and the other creator broke up, which said creator was willing to confirm was true and when was mark's family guy video released december 18th right now. oh my god it's all lining up guys my theory is correct it's all true in the middle of the breakup he literally used the recording studio of the person his girlfriend dumped him for and there are pictures of them hanging out irl that are dated after the breakup happened close okay Mostly at that too, I'm talking just over a week. But why would he do that? My best guess? A need for dependency. In the short time they'd been together, he became so emotionally attached to the whole thing, he pretty much spent a month waiting and hoping she'd come back to him. And to add even more insult to injury, the creator stated that during a Christmas party he went to with Veronica's family, they were also weirded out by her dating someone so much younger than her, supposedly calling Mark an autistic child and being thankful that- <laughs> Dude, just stop is insulting. Um, LS Mark way more than what he thinks of Veronica has. I mean, he's like, yeah, so I heard, he's just like, yeah, so I heard her family didn't like him calling him mentally disabled. 
but that she was now with a real man. Also, according to the creator, Veronica shit-talked Mark while they were apart, saying he was untalented, couldn't draw, and that his personal pilot project wouldn't go anywhere. Of course, this is stuff that can't be substantiated, so it should be taken with a grain of salt, but the creator has no reason to lie, and they've given a heap of evidence all the way, so I have reason to trust them. Though it should also be noted that when I, Daft, and Crory relayed this information to him in a call that I'll discuss later, he said he didn't want to hear what specifically it was that she said, meaning he was willing to ignore what she may truly feel about him, possibly to protect an image of her he's created in his head. But as stated, they- Congratulations, you- you- you, you figured out kind of what dating's like. I don't- I don't know what to tell you. Just stop. I- I- I don't know what to tell you, man. They got back together after a month. Why Veronica left Mark so she could immediately go to the creator, still hanging around and supposedly shit-talking him, before then deciding to return to Mark of her own accord is up to interpretation, I surely don't know. Whether it was a spur-of-the-moment decision showing she didn't value Mark as a partner, or it was a calculated move to show she holds the power in the relationship is what I personally believe, but that's not even close to where the bad shit ends. Doing a quick leap forward in the timeline here for clarity, after Twitter user and former friend of Veronica smoked the show, aka Smokey, created a call-out post of her on November 15th, which tipped me and several others off to this situation in the first place. She also stated in a follow-up tweet the next day, quote, As to what you're referring to specifically with her husband, I was the one who informed him of what she did when she did it February 26th of this year. But what happened- <laughs> I told the husband that she was bad news to begin with, guys. Mm, you go, girl. <laughs> like, okay, okay, so, I, I, like, and don't get me wrong. Like, I'm sure, like, like I said earlier, that marriage, if she is as toxic as he claims that she is, the marriage itself is probably going to last maybe one or two years. Maybe three, if, if, if they're lucky and they're pushing it, right? Maybe three years. But it's not your business to air out. It, re it really isn't, dude. Like... <laughs> I know I'm stating stuff that's like fairly obvious that everyone's already been saying at this point, but I mean, what else can you say to this situation? on that date exactly. Well, Mark was cheated on. However, he didn't figure out as much until days later, as can be indicated by the fact that on the same day it happened, Mark released a video on Camp Coral, which Veronica did thumbnail art and he explicitly thanked her for. He thanked her for helping him out in a video, guys. This is major. So it should probably be evident he didn't know then, and they also interacted amicably on the 28th of February as well. I'm not entirely sure by which means he did eventually figure out that the event had happened, but whenever he did, on March 6, Mark would go on to tell Smokey about his situation in DMs. Hey, Editing Braxton here for some added clarity. The DMs between Mark and Smokey I'm about to show you indicate that she was surprised by Veronica cheating, despite saying she told Mark earlier on in that reply. This is because Smokey was informed it may have happened by a friend a week after the event occurred while they were talking about the couple's codependency issues, funnily enough. Smokey didn't know- I- I'm gonna talk about y- oh, This- oh, Jesus Christ, this is- You can't do anything but laugh at this. Cause- cause everyone involved is just so stupid. No, for sure at the time, so- It gets better, by the way. Uh, we're gonna be checking out the interview that Doc on the radio did- did with Just Stop. It's, uh, it's comedy gold. She relayed the info to Sonny, as he was closer with Mark, who presumably relayed it to him, and then Mark would go on to confirm it to Smokey. So that's basically why her statement and this interaction can make sense at the same time. It's confusing, I know. Stating that he received a letter from Veronica, in which she said how sorry she was, that it was a result of a drinking problem, and that he was the best thing to have ever happened to her. However, Mark doesn't seem to be phased by the letter and actively brushes it off, stating that she's the cheating type, having done the same to Chris, aka Oni, and another person she dated named Nathan. And beyond that, after Smokey voices the concern that having- So, uh, what I'm hearing is she gets passed around a lot. <laughs> look, look man, you do you. You do you, boo. You do you. <laughs> Having seen this occur, she may have never really known who Veronica was to begin with, Mark agrees, stating, Yeah, I felt the same way of not knowing what was real and what wasn't. Which, you'd think would be the point where he stopped interacting with her entirely, at least for a while, but no. According to him, though he wasn't too specific, he said that after this event, she and him spent time apart, hung out as friends, then got back together, constantly mentioning how she was, quote, getting better, despite us never directly asking about it. But also, holy crap, sorry, my, uh, my stream was lagging there. I have... Guys, I haven't been ignoring the the comments you've been leaving. Uh, holy crap! Okay, let me let me read some of this. Oh, 
and panic pun with a five dollars. Wait, why didn't I get an alert for that? Holy crap! Thanks for the thank you for the five dollars, panic pun. I'm so sorry. Uh, hello, it's been a while. Lore, not law. Um, because no joke, I've heard that. Uh, I've heard her so many years. It shocked me that this is the same Veronica that dated o Chris Oni. Uh. Oh, hi, Chanry. Hey, Toku Punk Rum. How are you doing? No one per... per uh, no, no one per him, that situation. When did Mark get married? Uh, marriage is hard, especially when your friends doesn't consent to your holy matrimony. Reminder, everyone. Just Stop is an 18-year-old uh, that never understood relationships. How dare she target an underage 20-year-old? I know, right, guys? Uh... How dare Mark want to have some sense of privacy? Relationships are bad, clearly. Totally. Morning, everyone. In my opinion, Daft threw this kid under the bus by letting him publish it on his own channel. Yo, what's up, Exotic? Finn East, Squatchin' D-Max. Uh, I mean, unless they have substantial evidence that says those folks are bad news, I also brush it off as unfounded. Uh, let's see. Smarty Wolf, how are you doing? So the girl is a hoe and dated Mark, dumped him, then crawled back to him, and he took her back. Who cares? Daft is a loser, and so is just stopped. I can't agree more, guys. Uh, you don't appreciate us. No, no. I had I have the chat on my phone, but my phone is lagging a bit. I, I, I I'm 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 ashamed. I, I feel terrible. Uh, I am in the uh, I'm I'm in the Discord server. If anyone wants to join in, uh, D Max uh, Pigeon Salad, how are you doing, good sir? Everyone, fun fact: if you have a toxic ex and you break up but still hang out, you might get back together, but the relationship will be toxic. Yeah, uh, like I said, I said this earlier. The, the the relationship might last like one or two years. Who knows, right? But at the end of the day. It's Mark's relationship. Too much common sense, panic pun. Yeah, too too much common sense there. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, good sir? What madness do you speak? But yeah, terribly sorry for that, guys. By the way, yeah, I was I, I was I was looking at my chat on my phone. And I'm like, dang, no no one no one is interacting today. I joined BC, but I'm very busy this morning. Oh, poor guy, poor guy. I'm doing well. Hope you're doing. Uh, I'm doing good. Hope you're doing well, Nerdy John. Thank you, Pigeon Salad. But <laughs> yeah, let's see. I'm con I'm still conflicted about all of this. Says Longface. Yeah, guys. Guys, wait. Wait till you get till we get to the interview. That's gonna be the fun part right there. That's 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 gonna be the cherry on top of the situation. Also, hi Ryland. How are you doing, good sir? But looking at Twitter as a source of how true that statement might be, they shared an image together only three weeks after the DM, having interviewed the voice of Hugh Neutron, Mark DiCarlo. Then three days after that, they interviewed Jeff Kinney, and Mark clarified that they flew all the way to Boston, Massachusetts to do it. Could I- Oh my god, guys. They were making content together. How dare they? How dare they make content together? Not on my watch. Just stop. How dare you, good sir. Shame on you. Shame on you. How dare you do that? Panic pun with another $5. Holy crap. Thank you, my guy. Panic pun. The, the, panic pun. Jesus Christ. Thank you, man. You didn't have to do that. Uh, will we have terminal accounts of brain worms then? By then who? <laughs> I, I can't believe you missed them, Johnny, my boy. Whoa. Let's see. A effing business strip. Scandalous! I know. <laughs> mm, yes, the true scandal of what's going on here. Yes, yes, the scandal. How dare Basically, they? had a call of some kind, but hey, why not go to the effort for someone who cheated on you a month prior? He then flew back and stayed in LA until around April 1st, when he came back to his home country to watch Sonic 2 early. Of course, Sonic's involved in this somehow. It's art, cartoon drama, and of course, Sonic the Hedgehog has to be involved in some way, shape, or form. 
because we can't we can't have anything normal can we <laughs> by the way guys if you're if you want to call in give your two cents in on this situation feel free to call in because i i'd love i'd love to hear some opinions on this maybe even conf conflicting opinions uh, let's see i'm good how are you how are you going i am going good rylan if I call in, John, we technically be collaborating. You know what that means. We'd be dating. I don't think you're ready for that. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm living that bachelor lifestyle of watching YouTube all day. You know. Finally caught a nerdy John stream. Yo, Specter with the two dollars. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that, guys. Like, look. N never, never feel like you have to donate. Please don't. Because I, I'm just glad to have you guys here watching the content. Uh, let's see. This is Dumpy's video on Poncho. If you didn't realize how crazy he sounded. Wait, wait. Did, did Dumpy make a video on Poncho? Holy crap. I want to call in, but I have an Android. And I don't think the app is working for Android still. No, actually, it does work for Android. Uh, we, we had a call in who was on Android. And I've called in a couple shows on Android. And I was able to do it just fine. Yeah, Spectre W, exactly, Squatch. And Spectre W. Why is it always Sonic 2? I know, right? I mean, Bobax, Bobax, you know, he he uh, almost got an STD, you know, uh, doing the dirty uh, while watching Sonic 2. Because, you know, that's like, that's the real jam music right there. The, the, the thing that sets the mood is Sonic 2. Really? But you want to guess who he had as a travel companion? Donations are not are always welcome, but not mandatory. Exactly, exactly. Banyan. Yep, Veronica went to Ireland with Mark for over a month and a half, and this is backed up by the series of tweets the two made during that period. A not a month and a half? Oh my god, no. They watched a movie together in the same country? What madness is this, guys? Uh, let's see uh dumpy wanted to to when poncho said he was going to do music he never released it okay what <laughs> oh my god guys they watched a movie together how could they oh we got specter in call so you know let's let's uh let's drag him in yo specter how you doing how you doing good sir good morning sir how you doing all right all right so What's your opinion on this scandalous relationship? I mean, what what's this? They're doing collaborations together? They're spending <laughs> a month in the same yeah, country? What is this? Yeah. To me, this comes across as the epitome of don't get into situations when you have no idea what the hell you're talking about and you think that you do. And I think that's what Just Stop is doing. And I feel as though that particularly part of the problem with this whole situation altogether. Like, don't get involved in shit that's none of your business. Yeah, well, it's like, um, like, uh, what's that guy? Uh, wh what's the name of that one dude? Uh, starts with an S. Uh, um, I want to say Sunny, Sunny, Sunny. Okay, yeah. When he called in on Doc's stream, just called him like, like, dude, you don't even know Mark that much. You were invited nope. to the, you were the, like, uh, he said the only reason why you invited to the VidCon party was because someone else invited you. Mark never invited you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. So, they, so, so it's like. They were acquaintances get, at best. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So that's, that's my thing is that like, I, because uh, a lot of the people that I talk to on social media are either married or in particular or in relationships. I don't get involved in that shit because number one, it's none of my business, and number two, I have no place. Yeah, and like to look, talk look, about that kind of shit. Like, like mm -hmm. I, I, as I already stated, if she is, if if the relationship is as toxic as you're claiming it is, the relationship is only going to last what like. Two years, maybe three years, who knows, right? Toxic yeah, relationships, right. you know, it differs from person to person. But also, too, here's the thing, Just Stop. Let's say for some somehow you got public support during this video, right? Mm -hmm. What do you expect Mark to do afterwards? Divorce his wife because of a YouTube video? Right. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, honey. When 
Look, look, I, I know I know the sex was good, but this YouTuber made a really convincing video. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like, look, that's... man, look, I, like, if Baby, I was in this position listen, at 20, I love you. Me, 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 me and Mark are the same age, right? If I had a 20, mm -hmm. 28 year old, and let's be honest, she don't look that bad. Exactly. Like, I, I jump head to head. I, I jump in that relationship. <laughs> oh, 100%. Like, and, and also, like, the entire thing regarding how, like, she's older than him. I was like, look, my girlfriend is four years older than me. So I consider that a W, if you ask me. Look, look, so, there's like, nothing wrong with a bit of milf hunting, okay? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 like... Like either like look look man it could be worse you could be a flamenco you know reading the boy right. sopranos like I'm just oh, I'm just God. saying I'm, yeah, I'm just saying no. milf, milf hunting's uh milf hunting's not right. that bad. One hundred percent. Anything else you would like to add? Uh, we're, we're gonna go over it later. But do you have any anything uh you wanted to talk about involving like the doc interview? Mm, not particularly, but it's it's to me it's always just really sad how everybody seems to think that they're the arbiters in other people's relationships ultimately, and I yeah. think that's what's the biggest. This whole drama as a whole is technically a nothing burger, like everybody else keeps saying. It really but isn't. <laughs> it isn't, especially mm -hmm. since like it, like it's it's one thing if like Mark and Veronica kept airing out their grievances publicly. But it seems mm -hmm. like they took the mature option and handled a lot of their stuff privately. <laughs> if yeah. they have any issues still, I, you know? Right. I think a lot of people would be happier if they would have fell under the creed of not my circus, not my monkeys. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah. And then. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, yeah. And there's and they're like, but. Dude, imagine like getting getting uh, into a call and be like, yo, bro, your wife, you got to divorce her right now. Right. She exactly. she was me. She said something mean to me in a YouTube comment four years ago. You can't trust her. What? Why? Oh, some <laughs> some dude on Twitter told me. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 and you, you trust that, and you trust that more than like somebody that you quote unquote say you friends with, but you're actually friendly with that you actually never had big conversations with. It's like, why then make the video in the first place? Yeah, yeah. It's oh, weird. oh my God, Panic Pun says Alice Mark. Veronica, I'm sorry, but you see the likes on this YouTube video. I'm sorry, we got a divorce. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. And like, right. look, look. I'm not like, uh, I'm not gonna act like, like, I, like. I'm, I'm sure you've had like plenty of IRL friends that have been in relationships that you could have seen like a red flag a mile away. This isn't gonna end bad, oh, yeah. right? So like, you might like air your grievances once, and then if your buddy pushes back, you're like, okay, you just gotta let it take its course and then support him when the time comes. Yep. Because mm -hmm. ultimately, exactly, it's his life. <laughs> Right. It's none of my business, none of your business. So why, why get involved in that shit? Exactly. Well, thanks you. Thanks for calling, Inspector. Take 100%, care. One hundred percent. Thank you. Oh, you do you have, have anything to? Yourself, to uh, do you have anything to shout out? Do you do any content? Uh, well, technically, I'm currently making a. I'm trying to get my back. I'm trying to get back. Uh, I can't speak today. It's ten in the morning. <laughs> You're uh, good, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm currently trying to get back into YouTube. I actually just finished the script for my current, my newest video that I'm gonna do, which is gonna be my return. So that'll be cool. Very nice. Man. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be on Elden Ring. So that'll be fun. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, but thank you for having me, sir. Of course, man. You. Take care. All right, let's see what what else we have here. Weird how over concerned JS was over Mark, and he doesn't even know him really. People donate money to you because they think you deserve it. As soon as I sort out my finances, I will renew my membership. Oh, thank you so much. I think he's in love with one of them. Why would you be involved in a marriage you have no part of? But that's the thing, L L Ember. He. Like, like he's he's a self admitted asexual. That's the thing. That's the weird thing about this. I had a relationship like Mark's. I was dating someone older than me. She was very she was very toxic, and took me a long time to see that even when friends were telling me she was awful, sometimes you gotta learn the hard way and usually on your own. Yo, 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 what up, nerdy? Yo, John Bond zombie. How are you doing, good sir? How are you doing? All right. Let's continue the allegations, all right? We're still not out of the Sonic Forest yet.
April 8th. She acknowledges she saw Sonic 2 for the second time, the first time being with Mark on April 1st. April 14th. She mentions that she misses her dogs from being in Ireland. Oh my god, she mentioned that she misses her dogs. April 30th. She says she got COVID and has to stay in Ireland longer. May 14th. She says she's back with her dogs in America. They spent a month and a half together in Mark's home country after having hung out and done interviews for over a week, only three weeks after the DM where Mark said he didn't know who she was as a person or trust her. But it does con- Oh my god. Oh my god, that can't be. Oh my god. Sonic 2 is like an, an autist mating ritual. It is, Ryland. It is. <laughs> why? Why, does it, why is it only Sonic 2? Confer with my previous theory, that no matter what Veronica does, she either finds a way to pull Mark back in quickly, even after he seemingly- <laughs> She misses her dog? What a monster! I, I know, Ember. Wh what kind of cold-hearted monster misses their dogs? What sort of, what sort of thing is this? How could this be? Already made up his mind, or Mark has now gotten such a dependent attachment to her, he can't go for long periods without being together, as can be shown not only by all this traveling the two did together, but how much is still yet to come. A month after Veronica returned to LA on June 18th, Mark was back in California with a group of friends including her. And fun fact, the week after he got there, I actually met up with him briefly at yeah, yeah, if I remember correctly, this is Just Stop right here. This is Mark. Uh, this is Mango, if you're familiar with her, or him, rather, now. I can't believe she missed... She, she missed Dog, I know, right? VidCon, which is where I first came into contact with she who must not be named. Though that's a story and aftermath for another time. I don't want to make this about me. And in comparison... I'm not surprised uh, Bowie did did it during Sonic 2. It's like, like, is anyone surprised at all, LOL? No, I'm not surprised, but at the same time, it's like, really, Popax? Really? Person to everything else, it would sound pretty stupid, so yeah. But anyway, July 12th, they travel somewhere for her birthday and stay at a hotel for over a week, back to LA. Then in mid-August, they go to Washington, D.C. with Sunny for another week, and this is around the time they got married, so possibly a honeymoon thing, I don't know. According to Mark, they haven't- Just imagine. Imagine being obsessed with someone's marriage to this degree. I- I, I don't know, I think- I think I'd rather- just stop regrets mango <laughs> regrets mango mao ah <laughs> uh, yes the mango reference yeah 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 i love the mango reference had a formal ceremony yet, so it could have happened right after or before, but whatever. Following this, on the 21st of August, they show they're in an airport in Dallas on a connecting flight back to California, and presumably that's where they currently reside to this day. Now, I don't know about you guys, but to me, that's a lot of traveling, and a lot of money spent on someone who, not too long ago, in the same year, cheated on Mark and didn't have the decency to tell him face-to-face -face rather than using a letter. So him having this quick of a 180, as mentioned, is kind of scary, and to me, either seems manipulative how how dare they? Manipulative on Veronica's part or desperate on Mark's. They barely had the time to be apart from one another for three weeks before she reinserted herself deeply into his life, if he didn't bring her back on his own. And then for the next five to six months, they were constantly traveling from place to place, only having a reprieve from each other from May 14th to- The fact he didn't wrap up and he explained that there, were, there was a smell he needs to be tested. He did take a test, and we just haven't gotten the results of those tests yet. <laughs> like, ah, uh, Bo Blacks. Do you, wait, do you guys realize, though, he could have gotten this girl pregnant? I'm just saying there might be a little bow box running around here. We don't know. <laughs> to June 18th or so. Plus, we've got to take into account that Mark was also working on his pilot, his main channel, second channel, and his podcast with Veronica. So mix that all together. Yeah, it, it sounds like it sounds like Mark was on a YouTuber grind set there. It sounds like he was just kind of pumping out content. Raintism dodged a bullet in hindsight. I know, and Raintism's now engaged. The dude seems to be doing well for himself. <laughs> Guys, the, this is the weird thing to think about. The person who came out on top in that whole friend group was Raintism. <laughs> together alongside him traveling with her so often, it's like he never had a moment to think about their relationship and the negatives of what she did before moving on. And reminder here, whilst this series of traveling escapades was still occurring, they got married.
Man, saying that out loud still doesn't feel right. I, I mean, like, what? They got married only eight or so months after they broke up and got back together? Five or so months after he was cheated on and stated he- Yeah, people rush into marriages. This isn't the first time it's happened. It's not gonna be the last time it happens. I don't know what to tell you, Just Stop didn't know who she was amidst a myriad of trips across the country slash world in between a series of incredibly lengthy vi no, no no he's not engaged he's married but like they but at the same time it's like well i've known like well i don't know people personally but there are plenty of examples of people knowing each other for like a year or two and then rushing into a marriage right videos that Mark had examples. to put his attention towards, and they didn't even wait, they just got married without a formal ceremony they're still currently planning to happen? What's the rush? And more importantly, who in their right mind would- Let's see, average men shoot- oh my, oh my god. Only takes one. Roblox gotta do better. <laughs> Gonna have a garbage pale baby. <laughs> I moved with my hubby three months after meeting him, lol. Oh wow, congrats to him, lol. Oh, see, 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 squatching right there. She moved in with her husband three, three months after meeting him. Who consider that a good idea? It's got don't do this written all over it. But also, oh, the oh, oh, Vicky was talking about rain-tism. Yeah, rain-tism is the one engaged. Ellis Mark is the one who's married. Same time, it's equally peculiar. Why would the two hide their relationship to begin with? It's not like they're subtle about how often they hang out together. Yet they never mention their relationship status anywhere. And in a re why do they need to mention their relationship? That's that's a thing. Why do they need to mention that they're in a relationship? Is it so that way it satisfies your ego just stop? Like what? The the same... He, he acts like hit and run marriages don't happen. Yeah. I love that when whenever the Bo Black story comes up, it, it, it becomes a PSA for... <laughs> no, it becomes a pre... It becomes a PSA for wrapping up. Listen, listen guys, you know... <laughs> I think mine is about the same as Squatch, and we've been together for nine years now. You see, yeah, yeah. And, you know, like, relationships are different for everyone. You you might need to wait, like, four years before you consider marriage, or, like, six months or ha a year before you decide to, like, wanting to move in with them. Or, you know, you can have uh, examples like that. But <sighs> the fact that this dude, who, by the way, by the way, why is that the first thing? Why is that the first thing I hear? <laughs> Poor Hannah Animal. You, <laughs> Hannah, you you came in on a bad time. You you, you came in on a bad time, much like Bo Box, you know. <laughs> recent tweet, Veronica states that among her accomplishments this year, she moved out and up with somebody I love instead of explicitly mentioning Mark. Why would she? She didn't mention Mark specifically. How dare she? Let's see. Katie says, I've been married for... I, I was married in nine months of knowing him with my husband, Elwell, and we when we're celebrating five years. Aw. Uh, Panic Pun says, I got a dip, but it was fun. Yo, thanks for showing up. She feel the need to omit his name. She doesn't even need to say that they're married or dating to give out this information, just that they've moved in together. Not that it's weird or super personally revealing to be upfront that they're married to begin with. Shouldn't that be- Well, maybe they, they don't want to talk about their marriage a lot. Because people are making videos on their marriage. You know, just stop. Maybe, maybe that's it. Call me crazy. Be something you're happy to announce to the world that you're so in love with someone you've decided to make the next big step and have gone forward with a matrimonial commitment though i guess it would be weird to marry someone who has to get you your alcohol for you since you're legally not old enough to buy it yourself in their home country but he was he's legally old enough to buy it in his home country so uh what's the issue here buddy <laughs> bro she was smelly but do putting that aside, not, do men not know of an infection from poking in a dirty woman? Just you. No, no, we we know. 
It's just Bobox doesn't know. That's a thing. <laughs> Hearing that this might be the case was the final nail in the coffin to make me investigate. Seeing as, with all the other information I've just said, them being married would make no sense. At least on the basis that you want to get married to someone you're in a happy, uncompromised, long-lasting relationship with. And if they were married, it would make- This dude has a weird idea of marriage. Even less sense that they'd choose to hide it for no particular reason when they're so closely related to each other publicly. So I started asking around to those who might have more information on the story, and I accrued a vast- do you have information on their marriage, Glitza? Can you imagine just going into people's DMs? Do you have information on the Alice, Mark, and Veronica marriage? Story of testimony plus evidence from a long list of people previously involved in Mark and Veronica's past that, while seemingly small when viewed separately, came together to reveal a ton of patterns. One of those being that Veronica has a weird relationship with the people she considers friends, often stepping on or shit-talking them when she sees fit to make herself look better, often bringing down Mark's relationship with them in the process. Circling back to Smokey's post, it seems that whatever happened between her and Veronica, the latter wanted to apologize and move forward. However, according to Smokey, it had turned out that Veronica was still shit-talking her to other people giving mixed messages regarding their supposed friendship. And I wouldn't doubt this is the case, as when I spoke to a more neutral party slash current friend Veronica who I showed the post to and knew nothing about this, they told me that Veronica called her a stalker who wasn't to be trusted, despite the fact that in reality, they were close friends for around half a year, as is backed up through social media. And aside from Smokey herself, she also states that she's heard the testimonial of several other people who've been affected by Veronica in the same way. And while they might not be willing to speak up for whatever reason, which I can totally understand, there is proof to show that she partakes in this behavior, which I can demonstrate. First, looking to Daft Pina for a situation, here's a DM conversation Oh, where lovely. We... Daft Pina, the guy who pushed you to make this video, by the way. Out of line, despite having ample opportunity Listen, right, though I wasn't too optimistic he would, knowing what I've explained already and how he's shut people out. But I couldn't just go in half- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, listen to this. Without a plan, that wouldn't work at all. Plus, I'm admittedly a bit timid when it comes to head-to-head -to -head confrontations. I haven't been in commentary for a long-ass time, and I plan to not stay in it after- That's false, by the way. Just Stops made commentary videos beforehand. After this video is out, so I decided to call on Daft and Crowey, who've had previous instances attempting to talk to Mark about these issues, and created a list of questions I wanted to ask, seeing how he responded to check if he would be truthful with us, and as- <laughs> They for they got him in in a call under false pretenses of talking about a cartoon pilot, and then they corner him and start asking him questions about his marriage. Lovely, lovely individuals. But I'm sure you you, you get the picture by now. After shortly after the release of this video, Doc on the radio ma managed to get an interview with Just Stop. Actually, I believe this is. Uh, how, by the way, good good on um good on Doc on the radio for this. By the way, uh, he uh, his vod has six point two k views. It's really awesome on his end. Let's see. Uh, the just stop interview. Okay. Uh, I wasn't there immediately for it, so I'm not. Uh, so uh, obviously, my timestamps are gonna be a bit off when it comes to it. Let's see. Uh, all right let's uh enlarge that just a little bit okay okay here we go this should be good it's not him who's done anything worthy of call-out, though. It's Veronica and the group she's created around him who are at fault. And what might those actions include- So here's, like, one of the first issues I have with this video, right? You say, like, it's not, um, Mark's fault, or not, not, not Mark's fault necessarily, but it's mostly about Veronica, right? And I get you change the title of the video, but, um, a lot of this seems like it should just be private, in a sense. And, like, you say, yeah, it was in private, and then, but you felt the need to release, uh, this video. Um, but well, I went through the, I went through the entirety of the video when you talked about Veronica and her relationships with, with Mark and them breaking up or, or, and then coming back together after the whole entire cheating stuff. It, it, it really just doesn't seem like that, that it should be in the public eye in front of Mark's audience or your audience or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm kind of curious as to why you know, the thought process of this video. I'm going to head out see ya. Yo, yeah, take care, Goblin. It was very interesting to me. I'm kind of curious why you kind of worded it like that. Yep. So if you want to, like, go into my thought process, the the original idea... He sounds so depressed, by the way. ...idea behind it was that, uh, 
after getting out through all this information, wanted to talk to Mark about it. So I set up a call with uh, two other people, Daft Pina and Chris. Yeah, I want to. Uh, I want. To, I want to see uh, the Nick oh, calling because Nick kind of lays it in hard about on that him. one. Yeah, I don't. I disavow Bre- that. That's not. <laughs> that's that. I don't think that's. Brax, I got a question. What for are you, you disavowing? What the fuck are you disavowing? Wait, all right. I wish I had the proper timestamp for this. I had. I had to. Tangentially heard that Sony like leaked revenge porn, and you were just like, <laughs> "I'm not gonna look into this, bro." Yeah, he leaked some nudes uh, or whatever. I'm gonna just say that like. This Discord moderator told me, and then I'm gonna put it in the video next to all the other shit that I'm saying about him. <laughs> well, I had heard... uh, tries to imply that and tries to say it in his video that he said wait, two but... super transphobic okay, shit. But... But... Wait, I'm sorry. Why, like, why would no he be apologizing though? I, I, wait, 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 what's I heard the guy admitting there was transphobic shit said. It doesn't even really matter in the grand scheme of all oh, wait, this. So, but didn't he admit it? So basically. Anyway, in this interview, he just uh, he he basically just folds immediately on practically everything. He folds on everything, like yeah, I shouldn't have done that. In retrospect, I shouldn't have done that. And then he releases a he releases this. Who I want I wanted to show you guys uh the quote tweet above it first because I just thought it was a funny clip. Uh shout shout out if you know the movie. Shout out if you know the movie. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. (laughs) Uh, TLDR, I've taken down the video. I've realized it wasn't my place, and it didn't help to make to, to be public. People affected by V or S shouldn't be afraid to speak. I'm going to speak to Mark. One on one. And then look at this paragraph. Look at this paragraph. Last night, I decided to unlist my video about Veronica. Now, I've deleted it. This is because I've come to the realization that it was incredibly stupid, unnecessary, and counterproductive to talk about Mark and his relationship publicly. To begin with, the call I set up with him before the video didn't really help bring him in like that, would have obviously made make him hostile from the beginning. I only came to see see that that recently I've I've just spoken to him myself without any preparation. That's what I've been planning to do after this post goes up. As for the relationship with V, I didn't have the right to pry and shouldn't should have left that alone. Oh, well, now you realize that. I wanted to help because I'm an optimistic idiot that hates the idea of people suffering. Exp- I just hate seeing people suffer, guys. I, 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 hate, I hate when bad things happen to people, guys. I hate when bad things happen. I like when good things happen. <laughs> guys, you, you gotta understand. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I, 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 just, hate, I just hate when things happen, you know. Uh, but assumptions are cancerous to, make, to making a solid video, and I had way too many. Even what I had, I did. I can't see. I can't. I couldn't. Didn't see that until it was pointed out. By the way, guys, Daft Pina was someone who reviewed the video beforehand and said that the video was good enough to green light. I have I have a post from Daft Pina talking about this situation, which I'm going to read after this. I don't know. Daft Pina comes off as just as much of an idiot as uh, Just Stop Here. To be honest, throughout the video's production, I was iffy about the whole thing. Guys, I wasn't sure about it this entire time. And kept showing it to more and more people who kept encouraging it. Not gonna lie. Let him go. Comments are funny. LOL. <laughs> yeah. 
I was iffy about the whole production, encouraging it. So I thought I was doing the right thing. But I've come to see I was wrong. I kept hearing that I didn't think about how this would affect people at all. But I wanted to get as, as many perspectives as I could and kept receiving positive feedback. I tried not to. I tried not to create an echo chamber by showing it to people who had no involvement, as well as those who did, but in the end, it did, didn't seem to help. I went on a live stream last night to discuss my new thoughts, thoughts which were still developing at the time, and for those who have, been, who, who have seen it, they know I was a mess. I was conflicted about taking the video down or not for the sake of the other people, like Dubis, who who were helped through this production and after the video's release i received six or seven dms for new people who were scared to speak about v or sunny so here he's not really sorry he's only sorry that people don't like it he's still like veronica Ver veronica and sunny are still bad people and they need to be called out who were mark's friends as well but who were emboldened by my video to do so, it made me believe that the video had attained a new meaning beyond what I initially created, but regardless, Mark is at the center, and and on that front, I completely messed up. It taints the rest of the video and what it says to, and what it wants to say. I still believe Sonny and V are incredibly toxic people, that have been done that have done bad things simply more than I was aware of. But that it doesn't make the video worth keeping up. I want everyone who's had bad experiences with them to feel like the to feel like they can, but the video shouldn't be par pari shouldn't be the pariah for the kind of thing in the first place. I've heard a lot of friends what I, I heard from a lot of friends what they think I should do. Pushing back and forth, up and down to release a statement. Didn't Don't say anything. Go on a live stream. Get off the live stream. Say this. Say that. It didn't Don't say this. Uh, don't interact with that person. T talk to this person. It's been a back and forth like that since I started working on this video. I brought people on to help. They took off. Found evidence. Dropped evidence. I didn't think was up substantial enough rewrote the script a million times again guys i was iffy on this but i rewrote the script a million times but now i'm gonna do what i think i should uh, i should after hearing from everyone i'm taking down the video encouraging everyone who's scared to speak about v or so or sunny to do so stopping what i started and talking to mark one-on-one -on -one. i'm not a drama hungry person I hope I haven't irrevocably hurt everything around me. Thanks for reading. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're an idiot. You truly are an idiot. Good sir. I, I lost a lot of brain cells reading that. I hope you know.